Good morning everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. So it's actually not morning, so I've already lied to you and we're only 16 seconds in. Um, it's about half two I think. Yeah, it's half two, it's 31, it's 31 minutes past two. Um, it's Thursday the 13th and I haven't vlogged for a little while. I will update you guys later on tonight as to why I haven't um, and let you guys know what has been going on with me and my life and update you with things all like that this evening um but i'm about to get ready because i'm off to i'm going to go and see daniela if you guys have been here for a while you remember daniela um and we're actually going to go and meet jamie genevieve she's got a like meet and greet um in Trafford center at ghd so we're going to do that and yeah basically i just thought i'd vlog because i haven't vlogged in ages and i basically just haven't been feeling well um and i feel a little bit better at the moment so i thought let's just vlog and see how far i get with the vlog and hopefully we can make this a weekly thing because i know a lot of you guys have missed them and like i've missed i really have missed doing them um but i've just had i've had a lot going on oh down there hello i've had a lot going on but i like i said i will update you guys on everything um this evening when i get back and if you guys this room it's a mess um so yeah we're gonna go to that in bed and then i'm gonna come home and probably make some dinner time will be at work so i've got the place myself this evening so i'll make some dinner and then tidy this because it's a mess um but yeah that's pretty much me at the moment i am just gonna dry my hair because i just had a shower and wash my hair I'm going to dry it and just get ready. So I will see you guys. And maybe do a little clip of me getting ready. Like a little, a little montage. Um, and then show you the complete look and my outfit. Um, I've just had a Fashion Nova order come as well. So I might wear something from that. And then we'll go to Jamie Genevieve's event. And you'll see guys, you, whoa, you guys will see Daniela. Who I haven't seen in ages. So you guys definitely haven't seen in ages. So it'll be good to see her. So that is my plan at the moment. Yeah. Torn so deep, falling down through the clouds. I feeling you stay away from me. You keep on taking me. YouTube's number one worst vlogger. <laughs> I <sighs> forgot my camera at home. Got a hair because I'm so used to not vlogging that I forgot you guys at home, and I can only I can only apologise. It is about like half eight. Yeah, eight thirty-one, and it was two thirty-one before. Um, this is about half eight now. So I went to Traff, we met Jamie uh, with GHD. Someone did like a demo on her and then we did like a QA and a and then we went up and met her. Everyone said it's crazy how much like we look, but I don't, I don't see it. Like I see like a, a, a glimpse, but I mean, I'll take it because she is stunning. Um, and I met a subscriber. Um, her name's Alex, if you're watching, hello. She asked about uh, where the vlogs are and they're here. They're right here, they're back. Um, so yeah, it was a really, really good night, and then me and Daniela um, got um, some pretzels and like mini bite pretzels, and we sat in the food court for a good like three hours, and we just chatted. Um, I haven't seen her in so long, so I'd, I've missed her a lot, a lot. Um, so it was really, really good to see her and like catch up with her. This lash, both of these lashes are just like popping off, so I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna get rid of them while they're not annoying me that much. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's like half an hour. I'm gonna order some food because we don't have any food in. I'm not like very, I haven't eaten today, right? So I woke up and I had some melon and then I had my advent calendar and then I've had a lint chocolate and then I've had some pretzels. So I haven't eaten very well uh, by the melon, but I haven't eaten f like solid food. I've just eaten like snacks. So I'm gonna order some food. I'm just gonna get some chicken and then make some rice at home. Um, and I'm gonna clean this room. Yeah, it goes on further. It's crazy. I'm gonna um, get my life in order. A clean room is a clean mind. Um, and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys about my life and where I've been and what's been going on and why I haven't been vlogging um, and how I've been feeling. Oh my God, I fell over in the street. I fell over in the middle of the road and I've grazed my palm and got my elbow. It's really crusty, sorry. And I'm in, in her. Okay. This is my befores. I mean, I feel like we're at a whole new level of a... I mean, that's not bad. There's hardly any bags up there, which is crazy. I mean, we're, we're at a whole new level of comfort for me to show you this. Uh, and I haven't made this worse for dramatic effect. This is what I've been living in. I do have Christmas presents hidden in there. Uh, <laughs> and I did get a Fashion Nova order. And I have a random TV. Well, it's not random. I brought a new TV. Basically, guys, I don't... Mm, I'm not the biggest on technology. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I like things to be as they were. I like olden days. So I like CD. I love a CD. I love a CD. Um, I hate touch screen. And I've got, I've got no, I've got an iPhone. I've got the new SS Max. Don't know how. I don't like it. Don't like this face thing. No. But anyway, so with the TV situation, I my old TV, which is this one here, I've had since I was 16. I'm now 25, I've had it for nine years. I got it from my brother when I first moved house. When I was 16 years old, I left home and I lived by myself. And he gave me a TV as my moving out present. Um, and I've had it ever since. It's moved about seven to eight times with me. I love this TV. What happened was we were watching it, everything was fine, Tom and I were watching it. And the picture cough. And I was just like, eh. I thought a fuse had tripped, so I was like, let me just, you know, ooh, let me just check the fuse back. Everything was fine. I turned it off, I turned it on, moved plug sockets, everything, and it just won't come on. And it's really sad. I just got really upset. I was in Costco buying the new one, actually, I'll show you guys in a bit. And I said to the guy, I was just like, can I return it if I need to? And he was like, yeah, but why would you? And I was like, because I hope my old one turns on. And it hasn't, and I need to get rid of it, but I don't know how to. I don't know if you have to call the council or if you have to take it for a skip or what. I don't know. Um, this is just me like not dealing with life at all because there's so much that's been going on, which, like I said, I'll tell you guys all about. Let me show you my tree. This is in the dark. Look how stunning. And then I can show you all my Christmas decorations as we go as well because I haven't vlogged for a little while, but that's my tree. And then this is the new TV. So this is... God knows. What brand do you... Why don't you say anyway? I think it's a Toshiba maybe? 55 inch something? I don't know. There was 10 pounds difference between a 49 inch and a 55 inch. And the same with my computer, which is a 27 inch. I, if it's an investment like this, like a TV or like a computer, I would rather just spend that little bit more and just get bigger. Like if it was like a, a hundred pound difference, I'd get the smaller one. If it's 10 pound difference, I'm just gonna get the bigger one. It makes more sense to me. Anyway, so I'm gonna clean this room. I'm gonna do some of it with you guys. Uh, but if I look fat or if I feel disgusting when I come to edit this, it might be skipped through. Cause I just don't feel great. Although I do feel like I'm to either toning or losing weight on my legs. Either way, I'm happy. Uh, but the tummy is getting bigger. <laughs> it's Christmas season. A little bit of Westlife to get me in the mood to clean. I am Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. I like me. Oh. Minnie Mouse. Let's go.
Okay, so this is what we did. Everything's off the floor that needs to be. That big bag still needs to go to the charity shop and there's some returns up there. My TV, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing with. And I've put some hangers there for the meantime. Everything's off the floor. Those are presents. This is the stuff that I'll tell you about basically. Um, in a box. That's not, it's not clean, but it's tidy. Do you know what I mean? Everything's moved. Everything's moved, all my shoes put away. Hello. So I've had my food. <coughs> oh, and I watched a bit of a Kardashians because it's my, my guilty pleasure. Um, and I thought that I would just come on now. So I'm just moving a cushion. Um, and talk to you guys about what has been going on. And I know it's the beginning of the vlog, but if I get very emotional and start crying, just bear with me till the end of the week because I'm sure I will cheer up. Like, I'm, I'm in a good place now, but yeah. Anyways, so... <sighs> Basically... Um, two weeks ago, I suffered a major, m one of my biggest, um, panic attacks that actually landed me in the hospital. The, I don't even know where it stemmed from. Basically, I didn't, I didn't feel well all day in the morning. I think I was at work at like 12 and when I woke up I was just like oh I just I feel really like tired and drained um and then at work and I didn't eat in the morning because I just don't I sugar to eat that early in the morning anyway and then I had work and I worked and I had my break at three and I remember I ate some food at three from the work canteen which is where uh, quite a lot of the time I do go and eat anyway so I, I'm used to the food I know like I'm okay with the food um so I had food but I could hardly eat it I was just like I don't feel good guys like I really don't and it was like all up here and it was just really just heavy it was like the, the symptoms were like when you first get like a flu because it was like all here but like the way my belly felt was like I was like ill and then anyway um I finished my break and I basically said to my manager I was like I don't feel good I don't feel good and she was like do you want to go in the back and I was just like like no it's okay but basically because I because I'm sick so freaking often and all of the time you've known you at mac slash say lord you're only allowed to be ill three times a year to a normal person that's fine for me i get ill about once a week i can i can easily vomit once a week i've had this problem all my life well not all my life since i was like 15 16 by the way so like it died it was really bad when i was like 15 16 it died down went back up when i was about 20 died down and it's come back up now so I'm on an attendance improvement plan and I'm at the stage where I've had too many sicknesses that if I had one more sickness, it would be an investigation. So I had that at the back of my mind this whole time. Um, so my manager was just like, so just sit at the front and like someone will just do a demo on me. So I was like, okay, cool. And I was sat down and I was literally like this. I was, I was literally on the verge of going like out of consciousness and like passing out and she, my manager stayed with me the whole like while i was um so i've just got a notification on twitter um uh, my sorry uh, my manager um work stayed with me while they were doing like a demo on me um and then she was like just go in the back self and i was just like no because i knew if i went in the back i knew i'd be sick and i knew if i was sick that I would go home and I knew if I went home I'd get an investigation so in my back of my mind I was just like no 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 and then about three minutes later I literally went and I nearly fell into the guy that was going to do my makeup at this point he's taking all my makeup off and he was like rubbing my face um and I was like I'm going to the back and I literally just got up and walked away I hardly even spoke to him and I was like I'm going to the back my manager followed me out there's a toilet downstairs which is absolutely minging. It's like a like the delivery guys slash security toilet is a vile. Um, I was trying to be sick in there and like nothing was coming out, but I was like drenched in sweat and like I couldn't keep my eyes open. I was like dropping against the wall like it was bad. And then they took me into the stock room because Mac have their own like little stock room. They took me in there and they sat me down and I was in and out of consciousness, guy. I was literally just like like flopping, I was fainting. They had to find like a little 
tub for me to like be sick in. A first aid, and then there's, this is where everything went blank, and this is what people have just told me what's happened. A first aider came in, and I don't know what happened then. Another first aider came in, and I remember laying on, I was, I, they'd laid me on the floor, and I was just like, trying not to like, pass out, and they kept like, trying to keep me awake. Um, and then they called an ambulance to come. You guys know I don't do things in half measures. I go all the way, I go all out. If I'm sick, please believe it. It's the most dramatic, graphic thing you've ever seen. Um, yeah, paramed and then when the paramedics came, they sat me up and everything came out. Everything, sweetheart. Every fucking thing, okay? So at this point, I've been passing out, I've vomited, Two of my managers are in there. One of the girls that works in the stock room saw me. Two first aiders were there. Paramedics were there. Everything. They got me a wheelchair, for God's sake. <laughs> they wheeled me into the ambulance. Um, while I was still vomiting, like I'm still vomiting in the ambulance. And then they drove me to the hospital. In the ambulance, I vomited. I went, they give you like, I, this is TMI by the way, you can just skip it, it's fine. They, you know the, like the, the bowls, I filled like three of those. And they, they later told me that I actually passed out in the ambulance and banged my head. Thanks for catching me. Um, then we got to the hospital, still vomiting, still being sick. Tom and my brother are on the way, by the way. Like, work had to get in, like, in contact with them and tell them to come to the hospital. And, oh, thankfully, Tom was off. Thank God Tom was off. And my brother, I think, did my brother, oh my God, no. Because I was literally in the stock room being sick from three o'clock and I got to the hospital just after six. So I left, the, I left work from being sick at about five, half five. So I was vomiting for like an hour. So my brother just finished work, I'm pretty, yeah, he just finished work. Because they were trying to get him on his work phone and he wasn't answering, but then, yeah, anyway. So, get to the hospital, I'm waiting to be seen, I'm vomiting. And then my brother and Tom come, and like, I was there from like six till about half nine or so. And they did loads of tests, everyone was just like, are you pregnant? Are you, pre are you pregnant? The amount of people that asked me if I was damn pregnant, I was like, if y'all wish this upon me, um, not pregnant. By the way, we did, we did quite a few tests. All my tests came back clear. Tom thought that I was anemic because I'm always tired and I do vomit a lot. Tests came back clear, the exact same, because like when it happened when I was like 16, I went to hospital about it as well. Test, test came back fine. The only test that came back, there was that, they, they said one test was showed that I was inflamed or something, which happens when you, you vomit a lot or you fall over a lot. But obviously in my case, it's vomiting. Um, so yeah. I think I was ill and I stressed myself. I'm very, very overworked at the moment. Um, I've asked to lower my days, but it's a huge meeting that I've had to have like to go through. Um, and I'm still waiting to hear back, but I definitely need to lower my days because I'm just, oh my God, I'm not well. So I took a couple of days off, came back in, had another panic attack on the Thursday after. So literally eight days later, I had a panic attack again. To the point where I just like couldn't breathe properly and they put me in the back all day and I was just like I don't want to go home just put me in the back let me breathe and just be away from like customers and that and then like that panic attack lasted for two days I did not eat all day that day that it happened on the Thursday I didn't have a break all day at all worked from 9 45 till 5 15 didn't have a break so came home and I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat I finally had a drink I've Diet Coke at 11 p.m. and I've told everyone who knows me, I've told them that, and then th that's how they realize that it's bad because I drink Coke like like it's bloody air. Um, so for me to have my first Diet Coke of the day at like 11 o'clock at night, that's, something's wrong. Um, but I do feel a lot better now, like my, oh my God, you guys, my anxiety has been so bad and so painful. I haven't been able to sleep and when I have fallen asleep I will wake myself up because my anxiety is so bad. I've just been so upset and so like peed off at the world and at life and absolutely everything but I am feeling better and I'm not gonna lie to you guys vlogging is really helping like I know it's only been like a couple of clips that you guys have seen but it's really actually helping. That's basically what's going on with me. I've just had a lot of 
anxiety and many a panic attack and I've missed you guys. I just want to say a massive hello to Alex. Uh, I bumped into you today at Treff. I didn't look like this. I looked a lot better. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you. You're absolutely stunning. Oh my God. Hello, it's Friday. My favorite day. It's not really my favorite day actually. I don't know if I have a favorite day. Do you guys have a favorite day? I think if I had a favorite day, I think it's a Sunday. I like Sundays. Why do I just look really like reddish? Ooh, I'm off to work now. Fake tan is patchy air. It's not even tan. It's like a, a foundation. <laughs> because I can't be bothered. Um, yeah, I'm off to work now. I'm there till half eleven tonight. Selfages, if you're watching this, let me shut this door. Selfages, if you're watching this or you ever watch this, not one of your members of staff enjoy being there till half eleven. I'm just saying. And I'm not wearing any mascara because... I just can't be bothered if I'm honest. I go through stages of pat like usually like every winter I stop wearing mascara. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, I just I just, I just stop. So yeah, I managed to keep well, I was gonna say I managed to keep the room tidy. We did a wash yesterday, it's just all there, so I need to put it away. But apart from that, it's still tidy. Um I'm off to go to work now and I will see you guys when I come home. Um I'm back up again early tomorrow. Like there's literally 12 hours between when I finish work tonight and when I'm in tomorrow. So I'm probably not going to do much tonight. I'm just going to go home and just take my makeup off, take this fake, this bad fake tan off and go to sleep because I'm already tired. Looking hella red and hella fresh. Um, I'm home from work. Thank God. Tam's got me some food. So I had to tuck into the yacht. But I need to make my drinks. Diet Coke. Um, and we're going to watch Real Housewives. <laughs> you can see Tom's game in the background. Hopefully he's not looking at porn, but who knows. <laughs> yeah. I always go through these stages that when I watch The Real Housewives, especially Atlanta one, I get really angry all the time. And I'm not, well, I don't know why. It's because they're always angry and I keep just, he keeps just saying to people, I'm like, girl, I need to remember I'm not from the ATL, unfortunately. Oh, good morning, everybody. Oh, I'm tired, man. I'm tired and I'm pale. Um, it is Saturday. Oh, is all I can say. I have got junk in my eyebrows, lashes, whatever the board. I am in so much pain everywhere. I just been saying to Tom, I was at my whole body just aches like every muscle i'm not even like taking the mic or anything like am i zoomed in oh no yes i haven't cleaned that that's tonight's job i've finished at midnight last night i'm not doing that when i come home i'm doing it tonight yeah no like literally every part of my, my body hurts like all my shoulders oh that really hurt all my shoulders really hurt my biceps really hurt my triceps really hurt my forearms hurt like my rib muscle whatever muscle might be like at the back of my rib area hurts my ass hurts my legs hurt like i literally feel like i've had a full body workout and i haven't i haven't been to the gym in ages and it's like oh there's like a strain like right at the back here and it's just so painful well i don't know what's going on my body shouldn't be in pain like i haven't worked out okay so this is my outfit for work my top is it's like a ribbed crop top i'm pretty sure it's new look my cardigan is pretty little thing jeans are super high-waisted stretchy stretchy fashion over and then my shoes are my absolute new favorites these are from pretty little pretty little thing and then my earrings are fashion over as well no mascara again again <laughs> i'm off to work now and i will see you guys when i finish we're going to wrap some presents um, and chill, basically. Watch Christmas film on my presents. <laughs> Finished work, evidently. I feel like I've been bit. Can you? Oh my God, can you guys see it? What that is that? It's really painful and very quite warm. Not the the air, but that. And I keep itching it. Hopefully I've just been bit. Well, not hopefully, but I mean like, I hope it's nothing worse than just being bit. I'm about, well, I've just got home about half hour ago or something. I've got the, I knew it wouldn't be on there. I've got my food cooking at the moment. I'm having sausages, mash, gravy, and sweet corn and peas, which I know is a very simple 
um, dinner. Not too very adventurous, but it's what I've been craving all day at work. And Tom's at work, so I got to choose what was for dinner. And I've chose that. I'm also about to start wrapping some presents. I finally brought my wrapping paper. Um, I'm so unfaked and it's a joke. Um, yeah, I brought some wrapping paper, so I'm gonna start wrapping as well. And watch Harry Potter. I'm really excited, I haven't watched Harry Potter yet. I watch Harry Potter maybe like every three months or so. Um, and I haven't watched it for a little while. I don't even know if I've watched it since we've lived in this apartment, to be fair. No, I have, I have once. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is my night. I'm so happy I'm back vlogging. You guys have no idea. I can't even just put into words how much I love doing YouTube and how badly I just wish that I could just do this full time and that I wish I could just be an Instagram girl full time and just go to all these fun locations and take photos. But no, y'all get a mirror in my kitchen um, and get my outfits <laughs> from that. So um yeah i'm just very i'm very happy to be out of fucking yeah i'm in my element right now mm -mm -mm. good i got my harry potter on i wrapped two presents past 12 it's good afternoon i've been awake for a while to be fair let me just oh ow i sat on a shoe oh that was painful i look like a boy good morning everyone um let me brush my hair when i'm down here it's sunday it's my day off i love having sundays off so much it is so weird sundays are my favorite days to have off but they're the only day as well that i don't mind working that much because it's only a six hour day um but yeah oh that's nice Got a bit of a brush so um i've literally just spent the morning cleaning cleaning the apartment i've done like two loads of washing up time put the dishwasher on as well that makes it sound like we had a lot of washing up we didn't have a lot a lot um but it was like pots and pans which like done all fit on the racking at once so we had to do a couple of batches of that and then cleaned all like the living room and the kitchen like wiped all the surfaces cleaned the microwave tom's cleaned out the bin taking the bin out taking the recycling out we had a well yeah we've had a very um busy morning and i cleaned the big bathroom as well look how bad this fake tan is i'm having a bath tonight i can't wait um and then i got an asos delivery and I've tried everything on and I'm not happy with about 90% of it. I just feel like what I'm looking for doesn't probably suit me. I really want like a lounge two-piece set. Um, and I ordered two. One from Asus's own brand, which was like a, a navy ribbed one. And then one from Misguided, which was like a fluffy wool camel one um i do like the misguided one but not the trousers i like the jumper so i might just keep the jumper and wear it like jeans or something i don't know but i do want a two-piece and i need a new coat for winter because mine has holes in the pockets and like the fur on the hood is like hanging off for dear life um but yeah beth's should be on her way i think she says she's gonna be here about half 12 but who knows how have you not recognized my facetime because my not facetime on her Whatever this is good. And look who it is! Oh my god, I thought you were going to be candid. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> just a relaxation. Um, Beth has been here for a little while. We've watched Ratatouille, Home Alone 1, which Beth has never seen before. And now we're watching Mean Girls um, because I feel like Mean Girls is just, it's a cult. You have to watch it when you're with your friends. And now we're eating. Beth, this is the first time Beth's ever eaten. Is it rice and peas? It's the first time we've ever eaten that. Have you ate? Yeah? <laughs> and so, we're very excited. Tom's cooked the dinner for us as well. So, yes. And I finally finished wrapping all my presents. Small, this is just some of them. So they're all like tucked away in there. God help us when we have to get this in the car on the way to Wolverhampton. But I'm excited. <laughs> and we're on Tinder. He's doughy. He's so doughy. <laughs> you look, you're on Tinder. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I finally did it. I put away all my clothes and sorted out my returns. I need to return that massive bag. There's Fashion Over One, a pretty little thing one, and another ASOS one, and that is the stuff that I need to take to the charity shop probably on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And then I need to figure out how to get rid of a TV. Um, I've just cleaned my little desk area, my room. I've tried to hoover it, I think my hoover's broken. It's always great. Well, I, brought, well, I, I don't know what it's wrong with it to be fair, it's just not sucking and I've done everything, I've emptied the whole hoover, I've cleaned it, I've sorted like the wheelie area out, it's just not working, it's just not sucking, so I'm upset because I love my hoover. I love Good hoovering. morning everybody. I am, um, why are you in red? Sorry about that, I knew I was um, out of time on my phone, my camera even, my memory card, that's it, Jesus, oh my god. Yeah, so just in a film, the original lip was red, uh, but I've had to change it for work because I can't, I can't do red. Red lips don't suit me <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, I just need to get dressed and go to work, and that is my day today. I feel very anxious, um, kind of like how I was feeling when I was very unwell a couple of weeks ago, but I'm just going to ignore it and ride through it and hope for the best because it is kind of hurting but hopefully it's nothing so we'll see but i feel like once i get to work i'll be a lot better i don't know my anxiety literally just comes on over nothing and it'll hit me and it'll hit me hard it does not take any prisoners um so I'm hoping that it's nothing, but it will hopefully pass once I get to work and I'm around other people and I'm a little bit, little bit more like relaxed. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like I have anything to be anxious about, but this is how it happens. So yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Ooh. It's 20 past nine. I've just got home. Well, I've been home in a little while. Um, I had to go to Sainsbury's to get food for dinner. We're gonna have chicken. Look how festive my house looks with all the Christmas presents. Right. We're gonna have chicken teriyaki, I think. Let me double check. I've made it before, and I've made it on the vlog before, but I forgot what it's I forgot what it's called. Now we're gonna start cooking, basically, and I'm excited. I'm excited to eat, but it's gonna be a while to eat because I need to cook first. But yeah, my makeup's lasted quite well. I need to get it off though. I thought I'd start cooking and then while it's cooking, I'll take it off. Let's hope I can do that. This is the dinner and we've got Home Alone 2 about to start. I'm so excited for my food. We haven't had this for ages. How for this? It's like 25 past seven. I'm not a morning person. No, ma'am. Oh, I am not. Oh, I'm not even remotely a morning person. This is just not. No, I don't understand how people do this every day. I can't work nine to five because I can't get up at seven. Oh, why does my lens keep doing this? Hello. Oh my God. Hi guys, it's Wednesday. I know I last saw you yesterday morning. Um, it's Wednesday, it's half nine. No, it's not, it's half eight, that's a lie. I know I last saw you yesterday morning. Um, and the reason we haven't seen each other since is because it was on an early yesterday. 
And then I had, oh wait, did I vlog last night when I came home? Did I? I came home, I had a nap. I woke up, I watched some YouTube videos and I went to sleep for the night. And then I woke up this morning and I did the same shift. I'm the same amount of tired, if not more. Um, I came home from my shift, quickly got changed and I went out to watch The Grinch with my brother. I just got home now. Um, I am so tired, but I have so much to do. Basically, tomorrow is my last day off. Um, my double chin in this is ridiculous. Tomorrow is my last day off until Christmas Eve. And we're going back to Wolverhampton on Christmas Eve Eve. So, I want to get the house. I'm just so, just so huge with this freaking turtleneck on. Oh my God. I want to get the house in order before then. Um, my lip liner is absolute horrific. Everything in my life is horrific right now. I want to get the house cleaned. I want to get the beauty room cleaned because, yeah, it needs cleaning yet again, as does the house. I literally have been on earlies today and yesterday. Tom had the whole day off yesterday and he started work at six today, but the house is a mess. Um, my skin. <laughs> Can you guys just see how absolutely horrific? When was the last time you guys saw my skin this bad? Something's going on and I don't know what. Um, yeah, we went to the cinema and the heating wasn't working in the cinema, so we were freezing for like two hours. Um, so yeah, my house is warm, thank God. I don't know how or why. I've got the heating on now, but it was somewhat warm as well. You guys, I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. I'm up again early tomorrow, not as early as the past couple of days. I think I'm up at like... 8.45 ish I see you guys in the morning I'm so tired oh I'm so tired wow what a day I've had it is a uh, Thursday it's my last day off until Christmas Eve oh my god I do not look flattering I've got my little uh, pinafore tunic whatever the fuck it's called oh my god so okay just to put it into perspective it's past six o'clock I woke my ass up on time today at 25 past 8 on my day off to go to my nail appointment so this is from a new woman that I found on Instagram um, that I was gonna go to get my nails done I had a plan for today go and get my nails done I'd have a couple of hours before my first appointment and I'd go to town I wanted to get a few last bits, I wanted to get a couple of piercings and I wanted to get some Christmas cards because we don't have, Tom and I both don't have any Christmas cards for anyone yet. Um, so this was my plan, right? I'm on the road of the girl's house for her to do my nails and she texts me, she's saying that I have to cancel the appointment. I'm sorry. She said it was for a family emergency which, okay, like, you know, things happen, that's fine, I'm not saying that. But I'm on your road, like, I'm more, impo I'm more peed off that, like, if I was 10 minutes early, uh, then I was going to be anyway. Like, you do them, do you know what I mean? Anyway. But I sucked my nails off last night, so I have no nails, right? So then I'm just like, okay. I went, I got home and I was just like, don't know what to do. I've got no nails. I've got no nails. Christmas is in five days time. I, this is my last day off. I'm working and I'm working like proper unsociable hours. Like, no one will have an appointment ready for me. I haven't cut my hair, by the way. It's in like a half bun thing. Um, find a girl on Instagram and I messaged her and she was like I'm fully booked babe I was like fucking ew she was like and then she messaged me and she was like my appointment next will put like push back so I can fit you in now she was like so I can fit you in now and I was just like okay great sorry that guy in the van next to me was like pointing at me um, so I had to go to hers my nails took three hours to do I'll show you them in a bit so this pushed me back. So my appointment with her was at 12, and then I had an appointment, for, then my, it lasted three hours long. And then I had the set of lips that I had to do, oh, thank God the girl was late. Um, just finished them, hence why I'm in my little, my little, my little tunic. Um, and now I'm on my way to Daniela's to do an appointment there that she wants doing, because I do mobile treatments too. Um, in 800 feet, turn right onto Briscoe Lane. Will do. Um, so I've literally just had a day from like hell and 
I haven't been able to vlog. You guys have been in my bag the whole time, but I haven't had anything to vlog because I literally right onto Briscoe Lane. Because I literally drove to the appointment that didn't happen, then I drove home, then I drove to the appointment that did happen, then I did that, and then I drove to the salon, and now I'm driving to Dan's. So all I've been doing is sitting in this goddamn car all day. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Dan's, chill out with her. Sorry, I ran out of minutes, goddamn. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Dan's, do that, and then I was trying to find something to vlog tonight because I've got nothing, nothing to vlog. Because nothing's happening and I'm so frustrated. Oh my god, I had such a good plan for today as In well. A of a mile, such a good plan. But yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do all the stuff in town because I've got no time off. But, but yeah. I'm just gonna see what, uh, what happens. So I'll see you guys soon. 